My utmost for his highest for September 27th. The go of renunciation. Luke 9, verse 57. Let's look that up. The cost of following Jesus. As they were walking along the road, a man said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus replied, Foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. He said to another man, Follow me. But that man replied, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. Jesus said to him, Let the dead bury their own dead, but you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Still another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me go back and say goodbye to my family. Jesus replied, No one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the service in the kingdom of God. That seems a little harsh, doesn't it? But let's look at what this all means. Our Lord's attitude toward this man was one of severe discouragement. For he knew what was in the man, John 2, 25. We would have said, I can't imagine why he lost the opportunity of winning that man. Imagine being so cold to him and turning him away so discouraged. Never apologize for your Lord. The words of the Lord hurt and offend until there is nothing left to be hurt or offended. Jesus Christ had no tenderness whatsoever toward anything that was ultimately going to ruin a person in his service to God. That is so true. Our Lord's answers were not based on some whim or impulsive thought, but on the knowledge of what was in the man. If the Spirit of God brings to your mind a word of the Lord that hurts you, you can be sure there is something in you that he wants to hurt to the point of death. That sounds painful and harsh, but think about that. He's trying to get rid of the bad things in our lives, which is good. Luke 9, 58. These words destroy the argument of serving Jesus Christ because it is a pleasant thing to do. And the strictness of the rejection that he demands of me allows nothing to remain in my life but my Lord, myself, and a sense of desperate hope. He says that I must let everyone else come or go and that I must be guided solely by my relationship to him. And he says the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Luke 9:59. This man did not want to disappoint Jesus, nor did he want to show a lack of respect for his father. We put our sense of loyalty to our relatives ahead of our loyalty to Jesus Christ, forcing him to take last place. When your loyalties conflict, always obey Jesus Christ, whatever the cost. Luke 9.61 The person who says, Lord, I will follow you, but is the person who is intensely ready to go, but never goes. This man had reservations about going. The exacting call of Jesus has no room for goodbyes. Goodbyes, as we often use them, are pagan, not Christian, because they divert us from the call. Once the call of God comes to you, start going and never stop. Okay. This is kind of hard, a little harsh. I mean, you know, because we still want to be loving to our family and everything. Um, but, you know, what he's saying is that there are so many things in life, and this is what I'm taking away from this, that can distract us, right? We can just say, oh, you know what? I'll start that ministry when I have more time or when I get through this season of life or when this gets better or if I have more money or whatever. And we kind of just keep pushing things off, you know? And what I found is that when I keep Jesus first, it's amazing how all the other things fall in place. And when I try to do all the other things first, then there's like no room for Jesus. And a good example that I love to use um, with kids a lot is I'll have a jar and I'll have some rocks of different sizes, you know, and I'll be like putting in some of the little so the little rocks and medium sized rocks and they'll be like you think I can put this big rock in you know and like it just it won't fit in but it's amazing if you empty the jar and you go back and if you put the big rocks in first then when you put the little rocks in they can go in and all around and even the sand at the end can go in and then the jar is full so just always keep in mind that Jesus and his will for you and his work and quiet time with him and praying and all of those kind of God related things worshiping doing devotions, doing your Bible study. Those are your big rocks in life. And just make sure you always get those in the jar first. And then it's amazing how you can just fill in with family time and everything else around that. So that's what I encourage you today, always keeping him first. I hope you have a great day, my friends, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. You can order your own copy of the My Utmost for His Highest devotional book by going to utmost.org. 
and I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus, just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. And I hope you go out and shine for Him today. See you tomorrow.